The expedition over, the objectives achieved, Bob's found what he came to look for. As one boat is being put to rest, another is taking shape. Yuku's nephew and grandson are preparing a gift. Another kind of boat that carried another kind of warrior. It's a dugout canoe, just like the one the old scout used when he and Aaron risked their lives to rescue Kennedy. It's a gift from Buku, so people in America will remember the story. I'm making this canoe so people in Washington can come look so people will hear about the late President Kennedy, so people will remember the story of what happened here. This is my canoe, and I make it for the memorial of J.F. Kennedy from Biuku, Gaza. Aaron has his own way of remembering the story and his part in history. On a ridgetop on his island, he has built a memorial all his own, just for himself, to remember his friend, Jack Kennedy. When I heard he became president, this Kennedy, by way of my tradition, I appointed him into the position of chief. As chief, he decreed, I will send someone among my people to reach the moon. So it happened. They put up this flag here. The flag still sits on the moon, as the president dreamt it would be. So the chiefship of Kennedy will remain here, even after I die. Strong as ever, as hard as this rock, I always am thinking of him. Of the 13 men who served on PT-109, two were lost in the collision. Pappy McMahon survived his wounds and went on to work for the post office. Lenny Tom died when a train struck his car in 1946. John F. Kennedy was assassinated November 22, 1963. The last surviving crew member died in a hospital August 21, 2001. Let the word go forth from this time and place that the torch has been passed to a new generation of Americans born in this century, tempered by war, disciplined by a hard and bitter peace,